Hello guys and welcome to another TKG Games tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be working on problem 15 on project order, which is the lettuce path. It states starting in the top left corner of a 2x2 two two grid and only being able to move to the right and down, there are exactly 6 routes to the bottom right. How many such routes are there through a 20x20 20 20 grid? Well, my first solution, um, I created a two by two grid, right? And then I just expanded it. And what I did was fill them up with booleans and wherever index I visited, I just flipped the, um, the truth value there so that I can no longer visit it. But there is a more efficient way of finding uh, the solution by using binomial coefficient. So we're actually gonna go ahead and do that instead. So um, I already started this tutorial earlier and a plane flew right through my, my house and the noise was unbearable. So I already had the class shell started. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it there. So what we need to do is actually create uh, a method, right? For the binomial coefficient. This is going to take in two big integers. It's going to take in n and big integer k. Okay. So, the next one I want to do is want to keep a result. So, I'm going to save it there. My result is going to equal to big integer dot one. All right. So, the next one I want to do is if k dot compare to and uh, subtract k that is equal, equal to zero and then you're gonna do k is gonna equal to n dot subtract k uh, if you know how this works please go online and look up type it up on google and see how uh, the formula for binomial coefficient works okay Next, we're going to create a for loop. Call this a var x is going to equal to big integer dot zero x dot compared to k is less than zero x equals x dot add big integer dot one. And let me kind of reduce this a little bit so we can all see. There we go. So I'm gonna say results is so the result is gonna equal result dot multiply. I'm gonna do n dot subtract and we're gonna do x. Alright. Next we're gonna say results going to equal I keep doing results results it's going to equal result dot divide x dot add big integer dot one all right once we have this you can just go ahead and return the result all right so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and find the possible path, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create another static uh, big integer method. I'm gonna call this all routes. And this is gonna take in a big integer. Um, let's make this the final big integer. And I'm gonna call this one routes all right so what I need to do is keep the submission so I'm gonna say there submission is gonna to equal to big integer dot zero all right and there so 
I guess it is one of those problems that it's really hard to understand unless you've taken um, statistics and when they say something like oh if you have like 10 you have like 10 red marbles and 10 black marbles and you have like 10 choose two right so um what is the probability or the outcome that this is pretty much what we're trying to do here all right so i'm gonna do as much as by baking the uh, dot two i feel like the the actual brute force solution is way more easier to um to explain than this one and we're gonna do one to pass in the binomial coefficient and then we're gonna do uh the double and the route okay and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and return the submission. All right. So what we do is we take, um, we double the size of the actual um, grid, right? And then what we're doing is that we're going, uh, if you go through the individual choices, individual routes, right? Then all of the sum that we get back is going to be the actual uh, value for all the routes, right? I know this is really hard to explain, um, but you need to look up how the binomial coefficient works to figure that out, all right? And you can find this on Google. Um, when I was re-implementing this, I pretty much just looked up the formula and recreated it, right, using pick integer. So let's go ahead and um, do a public static void main string arcs and let's go do srt here and then we're going to do r routes all right so what we're going to do is pass in the big integer dot value off and if we pass in two here all right uh we should get six which is the base case and you guys can see that we do get six here but what we need is actually 20. so for 20 we're gonna get this result right here all right guys this will be it for this tutorial i really wish i could explain to you guys more in detail but i feel like my brute force solution would make more sense if i put that up however it's not the most optimal way to solve this problem that's why i'm trying not to put it out there but if you guys want me to actually go ahead and do that please let me know in the comment section below all right, guys, if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.